everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to trim up um, a Pekingese. So I'm going to show you how to get all this extra undercoat out and sort of thin this out and uh, trim up the feet and just sort of neaten up the Pekingese all over. So this is Bella and uh, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is shave the pads of the feet with our 30 blade. And I'm just going to take my clippers and just sort of cut all that hair that's sticking up. So you can see she's got a lot of hair here. So I'm just going to shave it out. And you just want to clear the bottom of the um, pad away so that they have more traction. So all that hair there, they slip on and whatnot. So you clean that out and um, so you can actually see their pads and then get better traction. Good. You can see there's like quite a bit of hair there. Good girl, Bella. And you just want to get rid of most of it. The rest of it won't neaten up with scissors. I'm going to use my rake here and I'm going to get some of this undercoat out. She's really thick and she's sort of losing some hair. So this will help um, get rid of all that dead hair, make it lay a little smoother, keep it from getting matted up. A little rake here, my cooking, my brush, and my fine tooth comb. So I'm just going to brush through, make sure there's not any mats in there. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rake and you can see it's kind of getting some of this dead hair out. You just want to be gentle. Be careful because you can cut your dog with these, so you do want to be careful. You want to make sure you're holding the skin so that it doesn't get caught in your rake. Grab it. I'm going to take my fine tooth comb and I'm just going to go through it and make sure that I got out all the dead coat. And of course to make sure there's no mats. Especially where there's lots of featherings on the rear end, the stomach. Same thing, I'm just going to carefully go over our whole body to make sure everything Make sure all the hair is flowing and there aren't any little mats. Good girl, Bella. Over her ears, make sure there are no mats back there. Turn around and do the same thing on the other side. So of course, brush first. And take our comb. Make sure there's no mats. Fine tooth comb is really good for checking for mats. Her from getting mats. 
just going to keep going over it with my comb just to make sure there's no matting in there. And we do have a video on the website on properly dematting dogs, so if you do run into some mats, you can check out that video and it'll show you how to get rid of those mats. You really just want to go over the whole dog very thoroughly. Make sure there aren't any little tangles starting. Good girl, Bella. You can lift the hair up and kind of break down. Make sure you're not running into any problems. Good girl. So I think her coat's in really good condition. We're going to do a little bit of trimming. Okay, now that we've prepped the Pekingese coat, made sure that we have all the undercoat out and that there's no mats, we can do a little bit of trimming. And we're going to keep her in a full coat here. So we're just going to trim her feet, trim her stomach, her rear end, her tail, just really all along the, the edges. I'm going to pick up her foot. I'm going to use my pair of shears. I'm just going to brush all of this down. I'm going to go up to the pad. I'm just going to trim it all away. You can see she's got a lot of hair on her paws here. I'm going to start on the bottom of the foot. I'm just clear that all away. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up her foot, I'm going to use my brush, and I'm going to brush up this fluff that's on the top of her foot there. I'm just going to take my scissors over it and round it out. See what it looks like. I'm gonna check, see if there's anything that looks out of place. There's a little hair there. Just sort of neaten it up there. And the hair on the back of the hawk here, you can cut short or you can just neaten it. It's kind of your personal preference. like you can cut it off completely some people like that real short back there so you can see her scissor paw and the unscissor paw so we're just going to repeat that process on all four of her feet Pick it up brush it straight down and against the pads just cut all that across Just going to cut it all around. Follow the shape of the foot starting from the bottom. Okay, good girl, Bella. And then once you have all that hair cleared away, put her foot down, see what it looks like. You can see where you have all your extra fluff there. Brush it up. Not cut all the way down, but cut off most of that fluff. Sit this all back down. Let her stand, kind of see what it looks like. Let's see if there's anything sticking up. Use your fingers to pull that extra fluff up. And just go over it again.
That's pretty good. We're just going to do a little neaten in the hair on the back of her leg here. So we'll do this, hold her leg out, and brush it out. And the length is completely up to you. You can cut it short, or you can leave it long and just kind of neaten, so whatever, whatever your personal preference is. Just kind of curve it there, and then when you're done, let her put her foot down. And brush it so it's sort of like in the natural, so she's standing in the natural position. I'm just going to see if anything looks out of place. sweeping motion and cut it off. And sit it down so you can see what looks out of place. See it again. And she does still have her back dew claws, so I'm just going to trim that hair a little bit. Again, the hair on the back of the hawks, so you can cut it all off, or you can just trim it, whatever you like. Trim a little. Okay, so we're going to trim for our last foot here. all the hair down and we're going to cut it across where the pad is. We're going to cut it across there. sweeping motion, cut all that off. Got all 
our feet trimmed. And this hair, the rest of the hair really is just up to you as much as, as far as how much you want to trim it. I'm just going to take my scissors and sort of neaten up this back here. use your thinning shears for shaping. You want it to look natural. You can also use your blade to skim all of this down, um, which I'll show you in a different video. It just looks a little more a little neater and tighter, but if you want the more natural look, stick to your thinning shears and just sort of shape it away. On the other side, do the same thing. Make sure it's even all the way around. I use my thinning shears. I actually, just sort of shape them. So there's not really much of a line there, so it looks natural. trim just a little bit right here. Some groomers actually shave this with a blade. I don't really like that idea. What I like to do is take my curved scissors and turn them this way so the curve is closest to their tail and just snip that hair right there very carefully. I think shaving it makes it too bald. If you do like, if you cut it like this, still keep it neat and clean. And some people prefer not to trim the tails at all. Or you can trim the tail. Again, it's up to you. So you could just leave it just like that. Or you can trim it. We're going to trim hers just a little. tail out. Use your fine tooth comb, brush all the hair down. Start at the bottom of the tail. Just going to snip a little off. Get started there. I'm going to take my 
scissors go along with the shape of the tail. Good dog grooming is just getting used to using the scissors and getting comfortable using the equipment. You can pull it off and pull it up and trim the tip. And we're not doing a lot of trimming with Bella today. Just want to make sure there's no mats behind her ears. You can, again, you can leave the ears, not trim them at all. Or you can take just a little bit off. You just want to use your fingers, pull it down. Pull it off. You can cut as much or as little as you want. And after you do that, I like to kind of let them hang like they naturally would. And if there's anything sticking out the bottom, just kind of go over it again. Do the same thing with the other ear. So the first thing we're going to do is hold the ear straight down, brush all the hair straight down, hold it in your fingers, and just cut off however much you want, and then just sort of let it sort of like a natural wood. I'm looking to see if they're even. Even. And again, that's a natural trim, and then we could do some skimming if we wanted, kind of give it a little more shape. We could just leave her natural. on how to trim up and neaten a full-coated dog, such as a Pekingese.